Hello, Woodford artists. Welcome to my backyard. Today, we're going to learn about an artist named Andy Goldsworthy. Now, Andy Goldsworthy is an earthworks or a land artist. That means that the work that he does is all outside using natural materials like um, rocks or sticks or twigs or leaves, sometimes ice and snow. Now, Andy Goldsworthy grew up in England, and when he was a teenager, he worked on a farm. And working on that farm, he, he just grew to love being outdoors and watching the cycle of the seasons. So he creates his artwork using those natural materials, and he also photographs the sculptures. So let's look together at a few of his pieces. These are some examples of some of the sculptures he's made with stone. And you know, I love spirals. So um, these are some of my favorites. Now the idea of making earthworks is, is not new. People have making, been making earthworks for hundreds of years. Here in Ohio, we're really lucky to have a very beautiful and important earthwork called the Great Serpent Mound. The Great Serpent Mound is about an hour and 15 minutes from Cincinnati and was created by the Fort Ancient Indians. It's an effigy mound, which means it looks like an animal. This one looks like a snake. My favorite modern earthwork and those of you in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade might remember these things. My favorite modern earthwork is, you remembered, the spiral jetty. The spiral jetty was made by Robert Smithson, and it is in the state of Utah. He created it in 1970. And the spiral jetty and Robert Smithson were a big influence on the work of Andy Goldsworthy. I hope that you are finding some time to get outside and you could make your own work of land art. The first thing you've got to do is look for your materials. Now, on my many, many dog walks, I found lots of natural materials. And um, so these might give you some ideas. So these cool, crazy, spiky things are um, seed pods from a catalpa tree. These are seed pods from a magnolia tree found lots of sweet gumballs and of course rocks but in my yard my Colorado blue spruce tree has dropped many many cones and that's what I used to make my land art so I gathered them all up put them in a big saucer then I walked around the yard to find my site to create my work of land art and um, then, after I created it, I took some pictures. I'll show them to you. Okay, this, this is a picture of my spiral. Now, one of the reasons Andy Goldsworthy takes these photographs is because these works of art are obviously outdoors, and so they are, you know, out in the, out in the weather, and they can change. They can be, you know, they get rained on, they'll get snowed on. Um, sometimes animals might disturb them, people might disturb them. So, and, and that's part of the cool thing about land art. It, it's out there and it becomes a part of nature, but the photograph preserves it in its uh, original state. So let's go check out my spiral and see if it's been disturbed or, or how it looks. So we'll walk out there together. Okay, so here we are, and I'm gonna tip the computer down. <laughs> there it is. Yep, it looks pretty good. But as the grass grows and the dog runs around, it's gonna change. I hope you have fun making your own work of land art. Take a photograph of it 
and save it so you can show me sometime. All right. Keep creating, guys. Love you. See you soon.